Well, it's the final week for fishing tips of the year. And on the final segment in part two of the two part finale, Ray and Mandy talk about the importance of invasive species prevention. The segment this evening is about cleaning, draining, and drying your boat when you get through fishing to make sure you're not transporting any aquatic invasive species to, from one lake to the other. So as Ray's doing now, he's continuing with the draining process. We pulled the plug, we've let the motor drop, let the lower unit drain. Now he's pulling the plug to the live well, making sure if there's any debris, if you had fish in there and they might have coughed something up, uh, making sure to take all of that out too while letting the live well drain before you leave. We'll see is even though the plug has been drained, you may need to use a sponge or a towel or anything that you've got with you. I su suggest a giant sponge like Ray's works awesome um, to making sure that you literally get every little last bit of water that you can out of that live well. As you're going to see at most landings, you're going to see aquatic invasive species inspectors. These are made up of volunteers, county employees, DNR employees, lake association volunteers. If you see these people at the accesses, they're simply doing the job to stop the spread of invasive species from one lake to a lake. Please make sure to be polite. So those are our tips for making sure that you're clean, dry and drained when you leave your parking ramp with your boat. I'm Ray Gildall with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerk, the Bassin Biologist. Thanks, Ray and Mandy. Good stuff always this entire summer. I know I had a great time and week after week was just Yeah, fantastic. they did another great another great season from, from those two. We really appreciate uh, all their help with that segment. Yeah. Hard to believe that it's I over know. for the year, which I means know. the summer's pretty much over. I know. Absolutely. Although we're going to have nice weather this weekend. <laughs> yeah. so. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.